Good afternoon, YTPC. Long time no see. Warwickshire Piper here. I thought it was about time that uh, I did a film for you guys. We had a bit of a catch up. How are you all keeping? Well, I hope. Uh, I'd like to say, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I must be doing something right. A little bit of housekeeping. Uh, I'm finishing off a tin of Sam Gowith Grouse Moor that was gifted to me about 12 months ago in a Danish Danish sovereign. Being in focus. That's better. Uh, Nice small pipe, a lovely sandblast on it. Classic, classic Danish, Danish shape. Uh, it's a triple X, Danish sovereign triple X. A little bit of research tells me that this pipe is a um, Stanwell sub brand. Uh, so it can't be all bad, can it? can't be all bad I mean even if it's uh, a Stanley reject it's uh, it still smokes really well okay this video basically is I'm going to entitle it one out one in and a yabo. Um, now I've got uh, a few Dunhill pipes, guys. It's a, I mean, obviously the expense of them uh, is prohibitive to have a large collection, particularly for me. But uh, it was something that I think any sort of self-respecting pipe collector, um, you know, needs to have in their collection. At some point in time, just to uh, to say, well, yeah, I've got a dunny, and it's. Uh, but they're you know they're, they're lovely pipes, um, incredibly well made, but they, you know, to me personally, uh, you know, they're a nicer looking pipe, so they're very classic design, generally nothing too radical. Whereas I prefer a, a Danish shape or or an Italian shape, something a little bit more. Uh, sophisticated maybe so I have decided I don't like selling pipes particularly but I've decided to move one of my uh, Dunhill pipes on today to a good friend of mine um, Tom Atkin Pope Tom Atkin um, in fact that's he just sent me a message to tell me he's just paid for it actually which is <laughs> which is really nice um, right guys it is a Dunhill Root Brian 1969 43 FT Dublin it really doesn't want to focus this close up lovely grain stem is in incredible condition but it's not smoked it just you know I think I've had two or three bowls in it since I've had it and it's just you know I would rather move it on to somebody like Tom who has an incredible collection um, in fact I think probably second only to uh, to um, 
Picol, President Bernard Allerty, who has, a, you know, the most incredible collection ever. I think he's sort of up to four or five thousand pipes. Um, so anyway, this is going to to Tom. Um, I'm sure he will enjoy it and appreciate it. He just sent me a message saying he hasn't got many dunnies, so he's going to start collecting them. Uh, so it's nice to think that that my uh, little Dublin will be the start of Tom's Dunhill collection. So that's the one that's uh, going out. And um, we have a Yabo from the postman who came about an hour ago. Um, basically, uh, I'm a member, as as many of you guys are in the, the YTPC, I guess, uh, in a Facebook group called the UK PTC, and I think we're up to about 600 odd members now, 640, 50, something like that. They're heading up towards 700 anyway. Apologies, guys. And a few weeks ago, uh, Tom Kirkbright, who you probably know him better as uh, Toking Tommy, posted in the group that Claire Green from Smoke King had got an incredible offer on um, a range of Savinelli pipes called uh, the Gaius range. Now, if anybody doesn't know, uh, Gaius was uh, a Roman Empire, a uh, Roman Empire, Roman Emperor, sorry, I haven't even had a drink yet. Uh, a Roman Emperor many moons ago, and he was also, uh, Gaius was also uh, uh, the wizard Merlin's uh, uh, mentor, should I say, in the, the, the court of King Arthur. Um, anyway, a bit of useless information for you. I tend to be flying off on a tangent again. This grouse more is a very nice smoke. I do um, quite enjoy Lakeland blends, and uh, this is incredibly floral. Uh, probably one of the most uh, Tonkin infused Gowith blends I think that I've I've tried really nice so anyway, going back to the, the post from uh, Toking Tommy, he said that Claire Green at Smoke King, which is an online retailer here in the UK, had got a range of Gaia Savinelli's reduced from £80 down to £29. Now it doesn't take much of a rocket scientist to, uh, to work out that that is one hell of a bloody good deal. Now we all like a bargain. Um, and I'm uh, no exception to that. So, after a bit of a dilly dally, uh, I decided to um, pull the trigger. And here it is. So, let's have a look at Gaius. Also ordered uh, a blend from Rattrays that uh, I've been wanting to try for a long time, which is their Seven Reserve. Um, and I'm really looking forward to trying this because I've heard a lot of good things about it. 
Uh, rough trace blends are quite difficult to uh, to get hold of at the moment um, because Colhouse and Cop, the the company uh, that manufactures rough trays, is basically basically has taken on so many new blends in the last uh, last 12 months. They've uh, I think they've bitten off more than they can chew, and uh, some of the older, more established blends have had to take a back seat while they roll out and refine uh, their new new blends. Um, right, don't need that. What's in there? Anything else in there? Paperwork. And a nice little, uh, nice little coaster. Cheers, Claire. Get rid of that. Right. Nice little Sava smelly all the way from Italy. Bargain. Let's have a look. Strip teases, isn't it? And there we are. One Savinelli Gaius. Whoops. Six four five shape, rusticated. I wanted the full bent actually, but they were they were out of stock. Non carbonized, uh, non treated bowl. Nine nine mil with Savinelli's. Balsa filter, well I call them soakers really, more of a soaker upper rather than a, a filter. They actually work quite well, they're, they're probably one of the few uh, filters that I actually do get on with. Um, but I'm going to take that out. So there we go guys, from £80 to £29. Bargain. Now, when I get new pipes, particularly particularly brand new pipes, I have a habit of leaving them for quite a long time uh, before I smoke them because I've, I've got um, probably 15 or 20 pipes now in my collection. Uh, and I tend to just put them with the rest of the boxes and I, yeah, I go back to them probably three or four months later, six months later and go, oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, I'm going to warm it up and um, and christen it, but I might uh, I might actually smoke this later today. So there we go, one out and one in. So I don't feel quite so bad now. <laughs> I hate selling pipes. I hate selling. Well, they're part of the family, aren't they? Part of the family. Anyway, I can thoroughly recommend. Um, Smoking uh, I've just seen whether we've got a web address on here if you google uh, Smoking I'm sure we've got a web website somewhere There we go I'm sure Claire would only be too happy to ship overseas if she can uh, possibly not tobacco products, but certainly pipes she will be able to. Um, Marvellous, excellent service, 24 hour turnaround from placing the uh, the initial order. Um, 
it doesn't get any better than that. I, I think we all have our own preference as to who we use for online retailers. Uh, I, I try to spread the love about as much as possible. I do uh, probably GQ tobaccos. I use probably more than any. Uh, but we are blessed in this country with uh, quite a few very, very good online um, tobacconist retailers. Um, and uh, as far as I'm aware, they're all doing pretty well. Um, they all seem to be able to cope with uh, the, uh, the competition. There's certainly four or five that, um, that we all deal with. Uh, you know, B&M's unfortunately seem to be uh, few and far between. Each, uh, you know, every six months you hear on the grapevine of a B&M that's closed its doors. Um, but online retailers seem to be doing okay, so we try and support them as much as we can. Um, obviously, we we do buy overseas as well, um, but uh, you know, I, I I don't make any apologies for. For mentioning that but um, we do try to support uh, our UK online retailers as well um, so there we go guys I'm going to fire up this little triple X again uh, nice to see you all nice to see you to see you nice as Bruce used to say I didn't set the, the, uh, the smoke alarm off either which is always a plus Really looking forward to trying that. Uh, in fact, I might even try that in the uh, in the new Sav later. Uh, just very quickly before I go, a friend of mine uh, up in Halifax, just outside Halifax, Eddie Lum, uh, our Eddie had a pipe meet up there a month or two ago and he gave me uh, to bring back down a uh, Ronson Viraflame 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 lighter to take to um, Salts Tobacconists in Coventry which is my local B&M um, because they're Ronson service agents uh, it's a lovely little lighter, great condition. Um, so I'm going to take that in and get it serviced for him. Uh, and I had a dig about, and I've actually found uh, an old Ronson Vara Flame of my own um, that I didn't know I got in a box, uh, a leather leather clad. Uh, Vara Flame, so I'm going to take that in and get it serviced as well. Um, it'd be nice to go into Pat's and have a catch up over a coffee. Uh, so there we go, guys. That is it. Uh, I have got lots more to talk about, but we'll um, I'll save that for another another video. Uh, hope you're all doing okay. Stay safe and smoky guys, I'll be back.